Happy Thanksgiving. I grew up in a family with a patriarch who was a pastor, and we didn't have anything or much to say about the purported original Thanksgiving meal. There's just no chance of colonial endorsement in my circles. But like so many families, we loved the opportunity to be together. And togetherness for us was usually at least 50 people because the we of my family was and is always quite expansive. So the thanks part of Thanksgiving, even if it meant further putting off going in on that turkey that we weren't allowed to touch until after, you know, all this happened. The thanks part of Thanksgiving was very important, and we always had to take a moment, each of us, to give thanks with specifics. Now, I work with children all day, every day, and I can say this. An attitude of gratitude doesn't just come naturally to us. It's something I emphasize with my friends and other parents who have kids in soccer or football or whatever else makes them not come to church on a Sunday morning from week to week, because this is real. And I'm not disparaging the competing interests that parents have with their children in the school years, but what I do want to say is this. An attitude of gratitude won't just come naturally. There's just too many other systems of influence around us that teach us and our children a different narrative. And if we don't prioritize this, if we don't put our children's ethical development at the same level as their athletic and academic development, then we wind up with children who have that bias. And that's not gonna be their fault. To be honest, our children can have trouble with articulating gratitude because the adults in their lives do too. But God has anointed you with the oil of gladness. God has anointed you with the oil of gladness. Does your life reflect this gladness? Or are you like me, spending way too much time reflecting and plotting and perseverating and wallowing in our grief when we think we should be, rather than our gladness in what is? If that's you, if you're like me and not living into your gladness as much as you could, I'm not just going to say that wrong, that that's wrong, but I, what I will say is that it's not God's intention for your life. It's just not. God wants you to be living into your gladness. God wants every day to be a day of giving thanks for what you do have in your life. But you might, like so many of us, be in a time of deep instability, of transition, of adversity, maybe even of assault. I don't know what this moment brings for each of us, but it does bring something that won't reflect perfection. And the idea of living a life of gratitude is this. Give thanks for the good things. And there are good things. There are always going to be good things, even if they don't dominate. I promise you there are good things. There's something that you can give thanks for. There are springs of new life and goodness and blessing in your life. And I think here's what we miss articulating in church all too often. Amongst those good things that God is doing, there are components of our lives that God doesn't intend. And my message to you is this. Give thanks and with God, with God, resist the things that are not of God. God intends life and beauty and goodness. God resists evil, ugly behavior, making somebody else's life miserable. God resists that. The Bible says, hold fast to what is good. Do that. That is how you live into your anointing. You are anointed for goodness, beloved. 
give thanks and hold fast to that and the rest. Dust off your feet, put your shoulders back, hold your head high. You are God's anointed in whom God is well pleased. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for this element of worship. We are so grateful that you have entrusted the park with this moment to hear music, to listen to the word of God, whatever it may be. And we just ask for your support. The park only functions with the generous donations of people like you. And 100% of your donation goes to the incredible ministries of this church, which give and give and give again. Thank you for the ways that you give in advance and for all that you might be ready to give in the future. God bless you and amen.